So I went to the Union Theological Seminary in New York, and while that was all time, at the time when Martin Luther King was leading the civil rights struggle, so I became involved in that there and, and realised that you have to protest, you have to, uh, to be active and so on. And um, so that caught me up in that struggle. And then of course it wasn't all that long after that that um, I came back to England and I was elected as Vice President of the Methodist Church and that meant that I got sent to Uppsala as a delegate. And I was so excited when I heard that Martin Luther King was to be the preacher. And then, of course, just a few weeks before the assembly, he was assassinated. I've always said the most eloquent speech at Uppsala was his silent voice, really, because we realised that racism was a killer, it was a murderer, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was from that assembly, of course, that the programme to combat racism was born in the World Council, and that became the programme to which I gave my greatest energy, really. We were trying to make violence unnecessary, that was the whole point. We were trying to say to people, you have other voices, not just the voice of guns. We will be your voice. We will raise your cause. We will speak for the oppressed people. We will work for sanctions against South Africa. We will use every non-violent method we can. I always say that to people who are struggling for things now, you know, there comes a moment, a tide, isn't there, when the tide turns and suddenly it, it, you're through and it's wonderful. You can't tell, never give up the struggle. The tide will come. But it seems to have been a particularly violent era, doesn't it, mm. this last, even this third millennium, which we all greeted with such enthusiasm and optimism, seems to have been so stained by this blood of violence and the terrible mistakes that have been made. One of my favourite texts in the Bible, you know, is about let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. I think Amos there has chosen the ideal image that justice should be as powerful, the struggle for justice should be as powerful as a waterfall, uh, but it should keep on, continually keeping on, keeping on, sweeping away everything before it. So for me that's a very powerful image.